Okay. I'm asking. So, you so, tell me what it means. So, <laughs> you tell me what it means. I'm not an intellectual. It, it means me a it simple means. thing. Simple thing to understand. We are so sensitive. Even a small creature is harmed. We feel sad. If a human is harmed, don't you feel sad? Fine. Let's go to our panel who've been waiting very patiently uh, to come in. Dr. Natasha Call is a novelist, professor of politics at the University of Westminster in the UK. Uh, Natasha, um, this is silly says Ram. A lot of this is just political, point scoring. People haven't got better things to do. The BJKB government's doing well, so we focus on these kind of outrageous statements that have been reprimanded. What's your response to that? Let's, uh, first of all, let me say that my numbers are correct, and I'm willing to back every one of these numbers. So in the first, there was a report released earlier this year which said that in the first 300, years, 300 days of this government, 600 cases of recorded violence in which four, at least 43 deaths, 149 incidents where Christians were targeted, the rest were where Muslims were targeted. So this is not someone invention every single time this happens people are, are you know they say that this is just fringe elements this is very much part and parcel of a government that has come to power which is Hindu supremacist and in and in addition socially regressive and economically neoliberal and that's the toxic combination we're faced with and it's not just the award wapsi it's the reconversions under the ghar wapsi that they've had it's the uh, accusations of love jihad when there are marriages between Hindus and Muslims it's the murder of atheists secularists and rationalists that we have seen in India we have seen uh, the killings of the beef ban, um, and th there have been spokespeople from their government that... Okay. Let, me, let me bring in, you made a lot of points, so let me... ...audiences, the RSS and the BJP, they work hand in glove with each other. Um, the RSS actually uh, has, has camps where young boys and girls are trained in the use of weapons. There is evidence of this, uh, well documented, where they are taught and they've made statements such as, we will build, bo we will build bombs, we will kill Muslims. And um, there, are, there is video footage recorded that they have, uh, of Yogi Adityanath, uh, you know, one of their uh, MPs, the BJP MPs, on stage with with people whose his supporters are asking the crowd to exhume the dead bodies of uh, Muslim women and to rape them. And that was followed by an incident like that actually happening. So this is not somebody making things up. That, that person is still an MP. The BJP, RSS, the Sangh Parivar ideology is not one of civic nationalism. It's not one of uh, looking at people in terms of their rights. It is very much along a socially regressive uh, community-based uh, notion of rights. And yeah. just one, one point. One in fail to resolve it what do you think this government's going to do well you see on the issue of Kashmir actually the uh, Hindu nationalists are uh, are just a more extreme version of the Indian nationalists because throughout the 90s it wasn't you know it wasn't the BJP in power uh, however what they share is a more extreme version of the same argument that dood mangoge to kheer denge Kashmir mangoge to cheer denge if you ask for milk we'll give you pudding if you ask for Kashmir we'll tear you to bits it's one of the most militarized places in the world the armed forces special powers act which is an emergency powers act has now been in force for 20 five years plus so there have been like you know these tens of thousands of killings women who are half widows mass graves mass rapes you know it's it's a complete travesty of justice there and the thing is that those people are being claimed in the name of a democracy but really the concern is with territory not the people there and there isn't any genuine effort most of the time by this government included in the past they've said in Saniyat ke daire mein, okay. you know in the ambit of humanity we'll talk okay. but they don't the Kashmiris let are not bring, involved let me bring wants to negotiate sovereignty and that's not going to be on the table and I didn't know that Dr. Call was the representative of the Pakistan Embassy in Oxford I today. I am not and this is defamation. <laughs> Excuse me. I strongly, I strongly object this is defamatory and this is exactly the kind of anti-national label that they give to anybody who dissents with them as a Kashmiri Hindu. Thank you, make your point. Do you want to respond? Do you want to withdraw the remark? Do you want to withdraw the remark? I do not withdraw my complaint. I well, also want should. to I also want to say Is there going to be a peace deal?